The Volvo GT3 Pro and the Ford Gen 6 have many things in common, but there are also some things that are totally different about these two watches. And today I will show you exactly that. Hey folks, my name is Leonard, you're watching a product reviewer, and that's me. So today we will compare the battery life, some of the health and smartwatch functions, the sport modes, navigation, design, and I will tell you some things that you should really know about these two watches before you get them. Alright, me personally, I hate to run out of battery life, which is why I tend to stick to smartwatches that give me more than just a few days. And the GT3 Pro and the Volvo Gen 6 are totally different in that aspect. Now the Volvo Gen 6 will last about one or two days depending on your usage, which really isn't a lot. But therefore, if you charge it, it only takes about 30 minutes until you from zero all the way up to 80%. And you have four different battery modes. We have the time only mode, which only tells you the time, the extended mode that will turn off a preset of features on your watch to save some battery life, and we have the daily and custom mode. The daily, like the name says, only lasts about a day and has all of the features running in the background. And the custom mode is actually pretty cool. With this one, you can tell the watch exactly which features you want to use and which not. And depending on what you do, you get more time with your Fossil Gen 6. Alright, the Huawei GT3 Pro plays in a whole different league. Now, Huawei straight up promises that we'll get about 14 days of normal usage and about 8 days if you're a very heavy user. Now, in my experience, I get about 10 days of battery life, and to get those 10 days, I have like my brightness settings on high to medium, I have the DD mode turned on during the night. I have the always in display mode turned off and I get a whole bunch of notifications. And I do about one or two workouts every three days for about half an hour. And it only takes about 10 minutes to go from zero to 25% and it takes eight to five minutes until you go from zero to 100. When it comes to the health features, both of these watches are well equipped. On the Fossil Gen 6, we get a heart rate sensor and an SPO2 tracker that only tracks on demand. And you get a pretty accurate sleep tracker that tracks your light and deep sleep, as well as your time awake. And you can check out your stats from last week and the last month. As well as we get stuff like a step counter, calorie counter and a guided breathing session. Now the GT3 Pro is a bit different. This one tracks a little bit more. Not only does it track your heart rate 24-7, but also your blood oxygen saturation and stress level, which is more or less trustworthy. You get a sleep tracker that only gives you some basic stats on the watch, but you get a more detailed version over in the Huawei Health app. Now something you are not going to find on Mini Smartwatch is a skin temperature tracker, which this watch has, and as for less, we have a breathing exercise as well. Alright, so much for the battery life and the health features, but let's get to the interesting part, the smart functions and both of them have a lot. Starting with the GT3 Pro, we get pop-up notifications from basically every app to which we can even quick reply with a short text or an emoji. And if that's not enough, you can head over to the health app and create your very own quick reply and use them once you get a message. On the Huawei GT3 Pro, we can take and decline incoming calls and since we have a bit of a mic in the speaker, we can take those calls right on our wrist. But if we have no time to talk, we can also send a short message to that person to let them know that you are going to call them back later or that you are busy right now. Not to a feature that I just love about smartwatches, and that is the music player. Well, to be more specific, the offline music. Through the Huawei Music app, you can download millions of songs to your watch and listen to them offline while you're running. So you basically don't need your smartphone anymore since you have your music and you have built-in GPS to track the route. As for the watch faces, I think I said it already once or twice in one of my older videos, but you get thousands of watch faces that you can download from the Huawei Health app. Over here you get 7 categories like hybrid, digital and analog watch faces, but also free watch faces and some that you have to pay for. But just by looking and scrolling through the free watch faces, you see how many there are and most of them are even customizable. So by long pressing the home screen, you can select a watch face and change the display metrics so you can see things like your sleep, battery life, bearing calories and stuff like that. And the best part about it is that you can interact with your home screen and use the metrics as little shortcuts to the app to get more details. Now the Fossil Gen 6 has pretty similar features like the customizable watch faces. You also have a built-in mic and a speaker so you can answer in decline in common calls. But in addition, you can actually punch in a number in the dial pad and start calls right from your watch as well, which is not possible on the GG3 Pro. Next up, the notifications. Now you do get all of your notifications right to your watch, but you can quick reply to them and 
you can actually write your own text on the watch and send it. You can use emojis and you can talk to your watch and let the watch write the message for you, which is a huge advantage if you compare it to the Huawei watch. Now after some things that you don't find on the GG3 Pro. On the Force Gen 6 we get a voice system, which is awesome. By long pressing the main button or simply by saying, hi Google, you can start workouts, send messages or set timers, which is my favorite use of it. Now you can download apps to your Huawei watch, but really not a lot and they are not that useful. Whereas on the Fault Gen 6 you can download apps right to the watch from the Google Play Store like Spotify. And yes, you can download music, podcasts and your favorite playlist to the watch as well and listen to them offline. The big advantage the Fault Gen 6 has right here is that we get Spotify, which most of us probably using and we cannot get this on a GT3 Pro. If you got that far into the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel right quick, it would really help me out. Also click the notification bell to never miss out on any new content. And now let's get back to the video. Alright, spec wise these two watches are pretty different as you can see. Now the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro is pretty chunky with 46 by 46 by 11 millimeters in size and you get a 1.43 inch Allo touch display with a resolution of 466 by 466 pixels. So all of the colors are vivid and text are sharp. On the side of the watch we get two physical buttons of which the lower one takes it straight to your sport mode. The upper rotatable button either takes it to your app menu or back and you can scroll with this one through your apps and messages and can zoom in and out of your app menu. And as well as the GT3 Pro is water resistant up to 5 ATM, has built in GPS which by the way works great and it weighs in at about 54 grams. The Fault Gen 6 has three physical buttons of which the upper and lower one are fully customizable and can be connected to any of your pre-installed apps. The middle button is rotatable to scroll through your messages and can be used to open up the voice assistant or to get to the main menu. Fault Gen 6 has a 1.28 inch Amal touch display with a resolution of 416 by 416 pixel. You have 8 gigs of internal storage and 1 gig of RAM. Built-in GPS, NFC and is water resistant up to 3 ATM and has one of the slickest bezels I've ever seen. If you talk about the sport modes, the GT3 Pro is the clear winner. This one has over 100 different sport modes to choose from such as walking, cycling and running, but also lots of water and winter sports. In addition, all of these sport modes are customizable, so you can set up the four workout displays with one to four different metrics on it. On the Fox Gen 6 we may also have tons of sport modes, but over here we can only set goals and reminders and nothing else. And I sometimes have big problems with the activity tracking and the bit in GPS. Sometimes it was just not tracking my route nor my health stats which can be a little bit frustrating. Ok let's have a quick wrap up. Now for about 400 euros you can get a base model of the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro. And this one has definitely its upsides, especially when it comes to the battery life and sport modes. But if you compare it to the Fossil Gen 6, I mean this one is about one year old and you can get this one for around 200 euros already which is half of the price. And I'm not sure if it's worth the upgrade. I mean, if you compare those two, the Fault Gen 6 has a voice assistant, you can download apps right to your watch, you get Spotify and it, it looks very nice. I mean, the main difference is the price, you get a, another brand and more or better health features. So in my opinion, the Fault Gen 6 is the better smart watch and the Huawei GT3 Pro is the better sport watch. Now let me know in the comments below which one you would take and why. And guys, that's it for today. So I'll see you next time. Peace.